world gone bad, there is still a group of people fighting crime and restoring order. Larry Twiggs. Mike DeFonza. Two men running on nothing but a little instant coffee and a lot of heart. And this is their stakeout. <laughs> My third. I have a uh, little Pomeranian Terrier. He does his thing. He gets on his hind legs. Oh, those eyes. I tell you something. He cannot bother those eyes. Side three cheeks, duty calls. Hey, you take care of that body, huh? We got the receiver. We got the receiver. Oh. And what's that body, baby? Speak, Chief. 135 Union Street. Drive. She was hot, no? No, she was not. She's got body for days. Body, it goes on and on. She's not hot. Okay. New target. A container load of pirate tracksuits was about to be seized last night, but then it mysteriously went missing, and I smell a rat. Larry, have I still got the Fonza? Pirate tracksuits. Counterfeit, you fool. That's why I put you two lamp shanks on it. This is the house of known crime boss Vinny Lazy Riviera. He's going to lead us right to the stash, and you're going to watch his every move until he does. In the meantime, I suggest we try and get this guy bugged. Capiche? All over it like pepper on a T-bone, Chief. Oh, Chief, uh, how's Missy? Watch your cake, old Mike. Like a snappy, like a scotch finger. Last warning, right? <sighs> That's our guy. by the target, and he is being driven by his kid. And I believe we are going for a little snack. Do these, uh, Windows look dirty to you. I mean, I, I can't see a thing. I think we need to get this baby washed. No, everything... Oh. Oh. Hello, ladies. You know, uh, now that you mentioned it, and it's kind of hard to, to see through the windows. Yes, and that is just dangerous. And it would be irresponsible not to get the car washed. And it's just across the street. So we can still keep an eye on our little friend. Bingo! Ladies, looks like we've got our first customers. We're dirty, ladies. Real dirty. Not Vinny and the elf, and you plant the bug. 
Mike. Yeah, yeah all right, all right. I'm going. <laughs> for 23 hours, Chief. The guy is a machine. Well, when that bad taste balloon wearing machine finally leaves this joint, you two brain-dead fruitcakes are going to be there waiting for him, aren't you? Comprendi? Well, I thought that was a little harsh. Yes, velour is very fashionable. A little dated maybe, but the way it hugged his frame, look. Either of you guys order a Hawaiian pizza or extra pineapple? Over here. Aloha. Mm. What the hell, Mike? What happened to keeping a low profile? Mahalo, Larry. Mahalo. Have some pizza. Huh? Oh, can you give the guy 20? Cheers. Be a kid. Give me some of this. Extra pineapple? Mm hmm. Well done. At last, there's Vinny. Quick, turn on the listening device. Oh, yeah. Lovely, huh? Lovely. <laughs> it's genuine. Velour, wow. 100%. Wow, it's so fuzzy. Well, he's wearing tracksuits. You know, I'll get by for his tracksuits. Not dramas. <laughs> well, proper ones. You're not for uh, chicks. You're not good. Throw it around the uh, bottom. Vinny, you're the best. Ah, think about it. You're not good. You look. You look me. Oh, whatever. That's nice. Big boot, huh? Can you have a bet? No, no, Jonas. What we'll do, come on, I'll go down to your abandoned warehouse, pull up the boys, back it up, pop the boot, fill it up, no, Jonas. Huh? No, seriously, but what do you reckon? He's coming around the module or what? Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, babe. Chief? Come on, talk to me. We're on. Old Lucifer picks up the gear tomorrow down from the abandoned warehouse. I'll be waiting for him. Waiting <laughs> 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 for what? Okay. I think this is it. Ah, yes, baby. Yeah. And. We wait. For what? No. 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 Light post. Not. Lawn. I give up. Larry. Oh. 
You are good. That's so good. Very, very good. Mm. Very, very good. Very good. 13 hours and still no sign of our guy. I don't understand. It's almost sunset. I'm telling you, we need one of these. Look, a sink. This one's got a couple of beds. <gasps> oh, this one's got a little jacuzzi. Shh, Mike, Mike, Mike. I think we're on. Let's go. We can take him. No, 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 no. It's too risky. Let's wait for backup. Nah. Freeze! Police! Ah! What, did you show them your library card? Chief, we're on. After the police showed up, Vinny Riviera was apprehended, along with his associates Tower and Max Dodgy. Vinny is now serving a five-year sentence in Silverwater. He attempted to escape, but only got 13 metres from the gate. After Mike and Larry regained consciousness, they were awarded medals of bravery for putting their lives on the line. They are still private investigators. And they are still idiots.